Hey guys, uh, this is your host Omar Gavaras. I'm bringing you another video here from my house. Um, it's been a while since I uploaded a video about the NFL and I want to apologize. I had uh, some computer problems. So now that the playoffs are set, uh, I've been seeing the page uh, on the internet about the NFL, about the coaches that are fired. <laughs> You're fired! What? Besides uh, Chip Kelly. Um, the first coach Oh, the first team, the first team I want to talk about is uh, the 49ers. The 49ers had problems with Jim Tom Sula. He's out. But let's be real. When he got the coaching job on in the 2015 season he had a bad team so it's not totally his fault but the 49ers have to get a, a better coach and get rid of some players two of two players that I would get rid of right now Colin Kaepernick and Reggie Bush Antoine Bolin I don't think is coming back so he's out but get a good head coach don't get a intern or a, I'm not well coach has not been proven to be worthy in the NFL like uh, the well, uh, Chip Kelly, he had a system. It worked the first time because he had the pieces. And he let go of key players. The last two seasons, the Eagles were awful. And why? Because Chip, Chip Kelly is so hard-headed that he thought that his system was better than his players. And on the NFL level, that's been ignorant. Um, so 49ers, get your facts straight. Hope you get a, a good head coach. The rumor is that they're trying to get a, or uh, Sean Payton is in the, in the sweepstakes. <laughs> NFL sweepstakes. Um, so, uh, the other team, the New York Giants. Um, Tom Co Tom Coughlin, Coughlin, Tom Coughlin. He's stepping down after twelve seasons. I think he's in his seventies, around that age. He did a lot of good things for the New York Giants because between Bill Parcells and Tom Coughlin, they waited almost 15 years to get a decent head coach. I think Bill Parcells' last stop with the Giants was in 90, 90, 91, when they won the Super Bowl. And he went away. Then he came. He came back with the Patriots and the Jets, and sometimes with the Cowboys. But since '91 until 2000, and can even remember 2001, 2002. I'm not sure. Um, oh, it was almost 10, 10, 12 years. Yeah, they went to the Super Bowl, but it wasn't the same. Um, they went with a um, 
Jim Fossil in 2001. Damn. <laughs> Jim Fossil. Oh, Dan Reeves. Okay. But they had a, a lot of coaches. Jim Fossil was okay. But he wasn't on the level of Tom Coughlin. So he went to two Super Bowls against the Patriots, which they won with a good scheme. I didn't know he was a, an assistant when the Giants uh, played the Buffalo Bills in Super Bowl 25. So, so he has two rings as a head coach and one as an assistant. So that's that's a good uh, record for a head coach in the New York Giants. They have they will have to put a lot of homework to get a good head coach. And the other team, I think, it's the and my Miami. Uh, it's not a team that I liked since Dan Marino. So hope they do well. Uh, Hope they do well because uh, they put out a lot of money on their defense getting um, Dominic too. There's a lot of problems to get a good decent head coach. The other team is the Eagles. You cannot get a head coach that is not proven. So the Eagles have, they have a lot of work to do. So they, and and they had, I'm sorry about that. They had a decent head coach, uh, honorable head coach in Andy Reid. But they were too stupid and ignorant. That man took the Eagles to five NFC title games. Winning one and going to the Super Bowl, which the Eagles should have won, but it didn't happen. Um, and they let Andy Reid go. He went to the Kansas City Chiefs, and now the Chiefs are in the playoffs. So. The other team, I think, is the Tennessee Titans. And the Tennessee Titans is another team I don't follow since Eddie George back in the day. Um, it was Eddie George and Steve McNair since 2005 that I don't follow Titans like I used to. So, Tennessee, you have a good quarterback. A young quarterback that you can mold. No problems there. The Eagles have a lot of problems besides the head coach. Get on quarterback. Uh, they're all fucked up in the running back position. Um, get some wide receivers. Cooper, get the fuck out of Philly. <laughs> no worry. I don't know why the Eagles even got that guy resigned, to be honest with you. And I'm not an Eagles fan. I'm just saying it as a fan of the NFL, of the sport, of a sport that I've been following since 1986. Aguilar, I think they're, it was, they're decent. The only two decent weapons they have on um, offense, Sproles, which is getting old, and Hurst, the tight end. On the wide receivers, they have a lot of problems. Cooper is one of them. So, quarterback, wide receiver, and a head coach. Dolphins, they need to concentrate on the offensive line and the head coach. The Giants, they need another wide receiver besides the, their head coach. I, I used to have respectful autumn. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr. But when they played against the Panthers, he played 
like an ignorant little fool. He played like a child. Even the great ones, the great ones, I mean, Jerry Rice, uh, Andre Reid, Chris Carter. Heck, I didn't like him, but I did respect the guy, Michael Irvin. They were sometimes, sometimes shut down, getting one, two catches, 30 yards, frustrating game, but they never lost their cool like this fucker. It's no disrespect to the guy, but it's a bad name. And that's as an F NFL viewer, is something that you will not tolerate because the NFL and the team paying the guy a lot of money the paying of the guy a lot of money and in he shouldn't be acting like a little kid ignorant little kid it's not it's not happening oh and I forgot the other team <laughs> that nobody cares but they are in the NFL the the Cleveland Browns the Cleveland Browns, they have a lot of problems. They need a quarterback. Get the fuck, Mansell. Frodo! Frodo! Sam! 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 Frodo! Sam Weiss Gemji. Sam! Frodo and Sam! Frodo! Frodo! Sam! Frodo! Sam! Frodo! Frodo! Sam! Sam! Frodo! Sam! Frodo! Sam! Sam! Frodo! Frodo, get the fuck out of Cleveland. They need help on the quarterbacks, head coach. GM, wide receiver, of uh, the offensive line is okay, but they need a lot of uh, a lot of help. The 49ers need a lot of help, but they are not in the same um, embarrassment as the Eagles, in the sense that we knew. Since day one in the 2015 season that that team was not going anywhere. When you lose a lot of important players and you think that the next generation is going to step up, they retired, Borland being one of them. So I don't blame, I don't blame the, the, the 49ers for letting him go and I don't blame Anzula for saying thank you, but... You're on, you are on your way out. So those were my thoughts, guys, about um, those teams. Um, the NFL is a top league, and if you don't uh, produce results, like Tom Coughlin getting to two Super Bowls, um, you're going to get fired anyway. And the for and the the Browns took too took too long. More more or less like deals. So those are my thoughts. As always, be humble and be blessed. This was your host, Omar Gavaras, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh Poke, you're the best of all the schools. For you will always cheer. By day we learn to read and write By night our team will fight, fight, fight No matter where we are We'll always give a rah For P-O-L-K P-O-L-K Polk